Hey there guys, how has your week been? Mine was busy. I got assigned this task at work that I need to get done and it is about making a portion of the code more efficient. At the moment that is causing our app to freeze in production, so I'm sure it will be fun to fix. The subject I wanted to discuss with you today is a pretty important one, even though it may not seem so at first, and it is time management. In my personal life I currently have a lot of responsibilities. I have my day job as a programmer, I teach courses on multiple platforms and people regularly come up with different questions. I want to stay fit by going to the gym and lately this YouTube channel where I try to post weekly on. That's all just work related by the way. Maintaining a social life, getting enough sleep plus a healthy diet would be pretty important as well. These all need to be done along with many others and are more or less equally important. There are a lot of strategies out there that can be used in order to not get lost in the chaos, but I will share mine. The first and probably most important strategy for me is prioritization. With so many things on my plate, not everything can be done at once. I like to start my day by organizing tasks in order of importance. I ask myself what needs to be done today and what can't wait until later. Usually I'll focus on tasks that have deadlines or ones that, if delayed, will cause bigger issues down the line. In my case, that can mean prioritizing my programming job over creating YouTube content on certain days. To make this process smoother, I also use a to-do list. It might sound old school, but it really helps. Our brains were not made to store to-do lists in them, but instead are very good at coming up with ideas or with what needs to be done. I know myself and the amount of things I need to get done. If I don't write them down, I'll surely forget some of them. Also, I break down larger tasks into smaller, more manageable steps. For example, if I'm working on optimizing the portion of the code that's causing the app to freeze, I'll break it down into researching possible fixes, testing solutions, and then implementing the changes. This makes everything feel less overwhelming and gives you smaller checkpoints to celebrate once reached. Another strategy I found very useful is time blocking that I combine with task batching. Basically, I allocate specific specific chunks of time during the day for particular activities and I choose them so they are similar or related if possible. This way minimizing context switching. If I'm working on my YouTube channel, I'll set aside a dedicated hour or two to film, do my voiceover and edit. During that time I solely focus only on that. Same goes for my day job. If I'm working on a specific coding task, I don't let myself get distracted by emails or other smaller tasks. Blocking time allows me to deep dive into whatever I'm working on, which helps me be more productive. And for me at least, I found context switching to be less than ideal when it comes to output of quality work. It always takes me a lot of time to see where I left off and get that same momentum going again. Let's not forget about breaks though. Working non-stop isn't sustainable. I know I entered periods of burnout and you don't want to get there. I follow the Pomodoro technique which means working in bursts. I usually do 50 to 100 minutes depending on the task and then taking a short break where I try to rest my eyes from the screen strain. This keeps my mind fresh and surprisingly I tend to get more done this way. When I take breaks I often step outside or do something completely unrelated to work. It could be as simple as grabbing a coffee or stretching, just something to reset at my brain. Now when it comes to balancing my fitness routine, I schedule gym sessions just like I would any other work task in my calendar. Prioritizing them in the morning gives me a productive start to the day. It sets a positive tone and boosts my energy levels, which helps me stay focused throughout the day. Plus, by getting my workout done early, I ensure it doesn't get pushed aside due to work or other commitments later on. I found that when I leave workouts for the evening, there's a higher chance I'll skip them if I'm too tired or caught up in something else. Morning gym sessions also help me clear my mind and reduce stress, making it easier to tackle the day's coding challenges head on. Something that's really important but often overlooked is learning to say no. I used to be the type of person who took on everything, which led to burnout. It's great to help others or take on exciting side projects, but if your plate is already full, it's okay to say no sometimes. Learning to set boundaries has been a game changer for me in terms of managing my time and keeping my sanity 
humanity intact. Nowadays, if a friend wants to go to a movie that I don't even like on an evening that I could use to get ahead on one of my projects, my response is clear. Now, don't get me wrong, I also find time to go out with my friends at least on a weekly basis. Even though I am an introvert and being social drains me of energy, going on without any interactions is very bad for your mental health. I think there are even studies that discover this is as bad as smoking cigarettes, so prioritize accordingly. Before I get to the last tip about time management, let's take a quick moment to thank Timestripe for supporting this video. Timestripe is an all-in-one tool to finally organize everything and it's perfect for teams and personal use. It allows you to experience planning in a holistic way, from daily professional tasks to lifelong personal milestones. So whether you want to manage your daily to-do list, weekly grocery shopping or the experience you want to have in this lifetime, Timestripe has you covered. So for once there are multiple time spans you can create tasks in, and there are also boards. They allow you to manage the scopes of different projects you have going on. So I might create one for my online courses one for investing, one for my job, and so on. Besides the fact that you can invite your friends and collaborate with them on tasks, this app also gamifies the concept of consistency by giving you a daily score based on how many goals you created, updated, and got done. I personally used this app for a few days now and I can't recommend it enough. If you are interested in trying it out for free for a few days, you have the link in the description below. Now let's get back to the video. Here comes the detrimental part of any routine and the biggest time efficiency hack you might use, rest and sleep. I know a lot of people glorify hustle culture, but sacrificing sleep to get more done isn't worth it in the long run. Without proper rest, I find that I am way less productive and my output isn't as sharp, so I make sure to get at least 7-8 to eight hours of sleep, no matter how busy my schedule gets. At the end of the day, it's all about balance. It's easy to get caught up in the grind, but taking the time to plan your day, stay organized and allow yourself to recharge makes all the difference. So that's how I manage my time as a software engineer juggling multiple responsibilities. It's not perfect, but these strategies help me stay on track and avoid burnout. Let me know in the comments how you guys manage your time. I'd love to hear your strategies. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notifications bell for more content. Until next time, cheers and happy coding!